3D pen art is an exciting new creative medium. It's great for hand-making projects. I'm Grace Dupre. I'm a London-based 3D printing pen artist. I love to create fun, wearable pieces and decorative items with my 3 Doodler Crate Plus. 3 Doodler is a 3D printing pen, which is a handheld version of 3D printing that lets you draw with plastic into the air. You'll see that there are two holes on the back. The yellow hole is where the plug goes, and then the hole underneath is where the plastic is inserted. If you turn it round onto the side, we have the off, and then there are two heat settings, PLA and ABS slash Flexi. Once you've decided the plastic you're going to use, you turn the switch over to the one corresponding, and then you'll notice a red light comes on. The red light just means that it's heating up. If I turn the pen over, there's this really handy little window. If I just insert some plastic, you can see that the plastic is in the right place. Then if I turn it back over, there's two buttons on the top. We've got fast and slow. I'm then going to press one of the buttons and then you'll see the plastic is extruding out the nozzle of the pen. I'm then going to click it again and it's gonna stop. So straight away, that plastic is, is set. So what do you want to do if you want to change the plastic? You can reverse the plastic out of the pen. I'm going to double click. And then you notice a flashing light. So this indicates that it's reversing. So it's just going to work its way back out the pen and then just gently pull. You'll notice now that the end of this plastic has gone very sort of stringy and this tends to get tangled up in the mechanism, so it's best to cut this off and then that piece is ready to reuse. There are three different types of plastic that you can use with the Crate Plus pen, ABS, PLA and Flexi. ABS is a very strong and quite flexible material. You might use this in projects where you're drawing freehand or up into the air. This plastic is called PLA. When you're using it with the pen, you want to have it on the, the lower heat setting, so you have a little bit of more time to work with it when you're drawing. There's a much wider colour choice available with it, and you can also get some really beautiful clear and tinted colours. The other plastic available to use with the Crate Plus pen is the Flexi plastic. This one is much more flexible and it's really great for doing things that are wearable. It also sticks really well to fabric. There are three main ways that you can doodle. Drawing freehand into the air, using stencils or templates. The third technique to doodle is using moulds. There are loads of different household objects you can use for moulds. All you need to do is cover it in masking tape, then you can use that shape to create something. Or you can buy creative canvases from 3Doodler, which are a bit more complicated shapes like this skull. Let's get started with a few simple techniques with your 3 Doodler Crate Plus pen. I'm going to start off with the thick line. I'm going to press the fast button. Once to start, I'm going to press the tip of the pen down onto the page and I'm going to move it quite slowly at a right angle to the page and this just ensures a nice smooth line. Then press it again to stop and lift the pen away and you've got your thick line. So next I'm going to show you a thin line. We're still going to press the tip of the pen down onto the page. We're just going to move a bit faster. The next one is the point. It's a bit more of a jump. Press down onto the page and then jump, press down, jump, press down, jump, press down. The next technique is called the squiggle. Instead of pressing the tip of the pen onto the page, we're going to hover just very slightly above the page and creates this really interesting squiggly effect. We're then going to look at how to fill an area. So the first one we've got here is the area fill. So again, I'm going to press the tip of the pen onto the page and just move it backwards and forwards, making sure there's overlap between 
you can see the surface of the plastic that's facing up off the sheet has a bit more texture to it. If I lift it up, turn it over, plastic underneath has this really super shiny texture to it. So you can decide whichever one you like the best. The next technique I've called the noodle. So you start off on the page and then just lift the pen up and just allow the plastic to extrude in a sort of a random, noodly way. So the last point we've got is the, the anchor point. Start off a little bit on the page. You just do a little sort of circle and that's a really good sort of joining technique. We can also use it as a starting point to draw up into the air. So I'm gonna use this time on the slow speed setting. So again, press the tip of the pen onto the page and then I'm gonna lift the pen up into the air and then bring it round in a circle and you can create a spiral. You can also make corners. So start with the tip of the pen on the page and I'm using the slow mode and then lift up in a straight line and then click button again just to stop it and just pause for a couple of seconds just while it dries and then you can continue on across the page into the air. Again, press stop and just pause for about two or three seconds and then you can keep going up into the air. So once you've mastered these techniques, you can combine them together to create all sorts of things. Pick up your three doodler, create plus pen and create these amazing crafts along with so much more.